finishing uh, week number one down in the southern forest. We're going to look for Wallara today. But before we do that, I'd like to get um, James just to talk a bit about what these nest cameras were up in the trees for and what sort of things they're trying to find out about the eagles with these spectacular photos that we're about to show you of the young eagles and their adults on the nests in their trees. It's just amazing. Okay, so we put the cameras up in the nests earlier this year when we were putting the trackers on the eagles. And the main objective really for these cameras was to see how these birds behaved in these last few weeks with the transmitter on their back before they fledged the nest. But as well as that, it was a trial. It's the first time these cameras have ever been put on nests for wedge-tailed eagles in Tasmania. So it gives us this really interesting, valuable insight into how they behave on the nest. Here's Eugene um, at Bushy Park and you can see him with his parent there. Here's a photo of the nest uh, with the foliage that's just been brought in. And this is a whole family portrait, so Eugene with mum and dad there. And it looks like the dad has brought in a rabbit in that photo. Moving on to Ethel down at Ellendale. So she liked to strike some interesting poses on the nest. That's some eagle yoga, courtesy of Ethel. Here she is um, stretching her wings. So they do this along the nest before they start to fly. And in this photo, you can see that she's pinching the tail feather. Um, of her mum or dad and this photo just really clearly shows the transmitter in the middle of her back there and then Esmeralda striking a very interesting pose during her sleep there she is feeding herself so the parents still feed them late in the breeding season but she's feeding herself as well that's a very messy nest that Esmeralda is calling out from this is her in the middle of the night holding on to what looks like a wallaby tail and then again, striking a very interesting pose at five o'clock in the morning. Here she is like Ethel, um, stretching her wings before she finally fledges the nest. And this final photo is her with her dad. Okay, so we're driving around uh, near Hewanville. So we're, um, whereabouts are we at the moment? Ranel near Ranelagh. Near Ranelagh. Mm. Um, trying to find Wallera, uh, looking at his last known location based on his tracker. And then we've just uh, stumped, couldn't, haven't seen him yet. Um, but we thought this house is pretty close to where he was last seen so we just cheekily drove up the driveway and knocked on the door and this is when we met Carol. Hi. And Carol has and got some interesting news. Yeah, funnily enough we saw two eagles this morning on the perch of the tree just behind me um, and one appeared to be a young bird so the male was on the top perch and then the young one was sort of flying around and went into the tree and they headed off together. Very exciting that He's got a tracker on him and we saw him. <laughs> so we have a Wallera sighting, just yeah. not by us. <laughs> no. Okay, a bit of excitement in the uh, Eagle Expedition Ute today because we've just left Carol and Stu's place and they saw Wallera this morning. We've driven down another nearby road and we have, for the first time, seen the Eagles. So we've got three up on the hillside, they're a long way away, and we assume it's Wallara plus parent one plus parent two. How exciting. We have eagles. So we just watched a brown falcon attempt to catch something, and he's now sat in the grass and he looks like he's missed, and he's looking a bit bewildered. Why Wedgie Why with me, James Pay. So today I'm wondering why did Wallera, or why is Wallera spending so long with his parents? Because normally wedge-tailed eagles, when they leave the nest, they spend a few months with their parents, but Wallera is still with his mum and dad over a year later. Why Wallera, why? <laughs> <laughs> 